Oh. Oh. What is this? What is this? I don't know. What is it? It's Naughty Dog Game. <laughs> oh, look. Y'all can guess what we're playing. Despite the fact that you can just look at the YouTube title and thumbnail. We're playing Jack and Daxter. Yes, Jack and Daxter. Oh, my goodness. I love this game as a kid. Me too. I was actually replaying this a couple of years ago when I got the collection series because that's what we're playing. Mm -hmm. And I was actually really impressed by the texture details in this game. And this was PS2. Like, oh, they early. didn't skip up on detail on this game at all. Oh, well, not the others like that. Anyway, so yeah, me and uh, Andrew were going to play. Just going to see if we could put subtitles on. No, no, mm -mm, I guess there's no subtitles. Damn. Uh, default. default. Uh, I'll, I'll stick to default. See sound. Nope, 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 nope. No, okay. Seems about right. Whatever. Let's start! New game. Saving data. This is so exciting, people. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, why is it taking so long? <laughs> uh, let's go. So, yeah. We're playing Jack and Daxter, the. A new IP that came out in, what, 2001 or something, when originally Naughty Dog was known for their Crash Bandicoot franchise. Yeah, right before they decided to make a Mario Kart ripoff of that game, and then it died and went to exist. Ripoff or not, I love that game. It's my favorite kart game of all time. I mean, it was pretty good. I don't know, but they should have, should have sticked to their guns. I don't think so. I mean, I miss the platforming games. Well, they came back to this. Well, that's true. Anyway, they're talking about something. Samos, I think, was talking about stuff. I wasn't paying attention. Whoa, nice graphics. <laughs> Still pretty good for, for now standards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, about it. I mean, it's not that... It does improve as the game, as the franchise continues. Yeah. But anyway. So if I remember correctly, we're going off to an island that we're not supposed to be going to. And then that's when, uh, Daxter has an accident. No idea why. But you know, one of the things I really appreciate about this game is that it had, like, little to, like, no load screens. Yeah, that was actually nice. I hated waiting for loading. Because that was, like, the big thing, kind of, back then, where it's like, okay, you go to world, it's got to load, boom, there it is. But then this game and kind of God of War implied the whole thing where you just continuously keep running and there's no load screen. Well, don't they hide the load screens kind of behind the cinematics? Uh, kind of. I mean, I would imagine so. But I'm talking about like in-game when you're actually running around collecting stuff. Oh, yeah. I think it like preload sections you're aiming off to and whatever the camera's not facing, it just like... Mm. I don't know. I don't know the technical term behind it, but... It's something like that. Okay. That's actually kind of funny. Okay, I remember the enemies in this are called lurkers. The purple lurkers? Back when I was playing on the PS2, when there was no HD, I thought they had, like, no pupils or anything. Mm. Apparently in this game, they have dots for eyes. So I was like, oh, okay. Ooh. What is going on? It's purple crap. Oh yeah, don't be careful with the bomb. Was it a bomb? Is it? I don't know. I think it Can't remember. Oh, it's a lurker. Yep, yeah. it was a bomb. Yeah, it was a bomb. Oh no! Daxter died. <laughs> or not. <laughs> He turned into an otzel. <laughs> oh! Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. No pants. <laughs> I'd be upset if that happened to me too. Oh man, it's not like the worst thing that could happen. Oh no! 
I will say one weird thing though. You notice that in his human form, he had weird buck teeth. Yeah. In also form, he has perfectly aligned teeth. I guess Dark Eco's good for your dental. Right. <laughs> Might not agree with everything else, but hey, at least you'll have nice teeth afterwards. <laughs> Man, it's gotta be heavy on his head. Oh, well, he's it's floating dense. now, so I guess it's not a problem. Uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Man, that must be heavy. Well, I'm floating now, so. Gravity does not apply. Screw you. Yeah, what is this game rated? E? Oh, yeah, it's an E rated game. Yeah, no. You know, it's actually kind of funny. I don't remember if I was at a Walmart or a Target. I don't know when Target opened, but anyway, it was a long time ago, and. It's been a while since I got a new game, and I asked my ma, Hey, I want to get a new game. And she's like, okay, go ahead and pick one. And it was either a choice between this or Sly Cooper. Mm. Both I, good choices. I chose Jack and Daxton and never played Sly Cooper until the collection series a couple years ago. Mm. Which is another comment to become, but I will say this. After playing the first Sly Cooper game, I kind of regret not playing it as a kid, because it was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. One of the few games that actually were good back in the day. I mean, uh, with kind of like the rise of uh, Western studios with like Spyro, uh, Naughty Dog, and Sucker Punch, they really knew how to create a fun game. Yeah. Back when platforming was a big deal. I miss those games. Yeah, me too. We don't have that too much of that nowadays. Yeah, not so much. Everyone's all about RPGs, shooters, and... Ugh, mostly Grandpa. shooters. Racing. Ugh. All that stuff. Whatever. Everyone's got their selective choice of gaming. Well, I mean, they don't really have much of a choice, if you think about it. They stayed away from the platforming genre nowadays. So they don't even have a choice to play it. Well, it's mostly them sticking to what the demographic wants. Well, right yeah. now, we mostly want shooters and pixel games. Which I'm starting to think that's starting to die, too. I anyway. hope so. Kind of tired of it. I want it to die. Anyway. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I thought the controller broke for a second. Anyway, we gotta collect this up. So, how we're gonna do this, folks, is uh, since uh, <laughs> I don't know when these episodes get released, but you may have noticed that me and uh, Andrew uh, playing Resident Evil 4, which is a lot of fun, but since it's been a little while, he's rusty to say the least. I suck at it. <laughs> and we were like, okay, I seriously want to play a game where it's just like me and Jared, where you and I could just pass off each other. And we're like, well, what game can we play? And we're like, you have the Jack and Daxter collection, so let's just do that. So that's what we're going to do. So I am going to play this section, which is the tutorial. Are we going to 100% complete this? Probably not. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's easy, but it's going to take time. And I've done it before, like no. a few times. I believe I've been through this game all the way through. We got a power orb. Oh, uh, dude. Whoa, okay, yeah, I know. That's when it saves. Thank you. But yeah, I mean, what was your early experience with this? Um, I mean, I played it a lot at my dad's house. I only visit him, like, on the weekends. Yeah, cool. So, oh, I mean, it wasn't very far in a few. I actually got to play it. Gotcha. <clears throat> I was more of a... We more had Nintendo in my house to the PlayStation. Yeah, and that's um, usually the case with most people. Oop, right. Well, that and uh, the Sega Dreamcast. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that little thing. Yeah. I mean, we did get Nintendo of one eventually... But mostly they play Mortal Kombat on that. Gotcha. So, I mean, <laughs> got it. Yeah, family wasn't really into the whole platformer thing. Mostly because my dad, uh... Bad depth perception? Well, no, it's just the fact that my dad monopolized on the video games. And, you know, he'd rather play things like shooters and fighters and stuff like that. America. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean... 
By the way. He found this kind of stuff childish. I don't know why it kind of is. I don't know why he would even look at it that way. A game's a game as long as it's entertaining. Yeah, as long as you have fun playing it. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I guess, I mean, I mostly grew up with platformers. Like, I think the very first game I actually owned was uh, Sonic 2 on the Genesis. Mm. And people have said their two cents about that. It's like, oh, it's a game that's supposed to advertise to be a beam fast, but you run fast for, like, the first stage or so, and then after that you got to wait for platforms. Yeah. As a kid, when I played it, I didn't keep that in mind that it was, oops, supposed to be fast. Oh, there's webs down here. Cool. I just played it because I had it, and it was a blue hedgehog, and I like blue. I didn't play much of that, actually. Um, well, actually, no. Because I did have the, the Knuckles expansion thing. Yeah, yeah, Where yeah. I had to plug the cartridge into the game, and then, the, car and then the, the other cartridge on the top of that cartridge. Yeah, Sonic and Knuckles, where you can expand on either two or three. Yeah. Which I found that kind of a weird way of doing it. I liked it. I mean, it's like, it, it's cool, it's inventive, but, I mean, I guess that's the only way they could do DLC back then. <laughs> is put a cartridge on top of another cartridge. I it's, mean, you're paying full retail for a, a Sonic game, Sonic and Knuckles, but because of the way the cartridges are set up, is you can expand the other full retail games you bought, Sonic 2 and 3, into more content, technically, so... Mm. Uh, that's just the way to see it. But anyway, my point is, is I. Oh shoot. Okay. Um, I, um, played Sonic two, three, and Sonic and Knuckles, and I had a lot of fun. Yeah. And I saw them as platformers. I didn't really think of them as like a speedrunner type thing. So that's why I don't have a stick up my ass when it comes to Sonic games. Right. Back then, my opinion of it now is a little tainted but anyway so i was really into it then i got an n64 a while ago me and my sister shared it and we um got super mario 64 and that was fun for what it was yeah kind of got bored of it a little bit it was hard 100 percenting that game oh it was yeah i never 100 oh percented it especially when some of the coins were unreachable and you had to do glitches in order to get the coin feels like it yeah or like do some really obscure well, thing you wouldn't even think of doing well no like it, it's not i'm actually like telling the truth there was like two coins in the game hmm. because in order to get one of the stars you had to get all the coins and well 100 world. coins you had to get 100 coins i thought you had to get all the coins no you have to get it's called the 100 coin star oh well i believe one of the levels it was uh, the sliding one. When you jump to the princess thing, you have like the sliding one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that one. There's a coin that's actually trapped underneath the slide, in, uh -huh. under the geometry. Yeah. That you can't get. So you can never complete the 100 coin thing uh, unless you glitch yourself to get that last coin. I never tried. Yeah. Oh. But I don't know. I mean, I've always been a. Because I got the N64, and I didn't get too many games for it. Maybe the occasional thing. Okay, I got all the power gems. Cool. Oh, uh, the precursor orbs. In terms of power gems, I have no idea how many I collected. I think that was four. Maybe. Yep, four. I feel like I'm missing one. But I don't know. I don't know. Am I? I don't think so. No, no, no I got four. them all. Okay, I completed the tutorial. Oops. Right, this is weird. This is back when you had to press triangle to get out. Oh, or... <laughs> okay, then. Anyway. Cool. Alright, cool. Let's get out of here, yo. So cool. Oh, so cool. Sorry, the mic's in the way, folks. But yeah, no. Uh, then the N64 kind of tied into the PS1, which is my Apex. Mm. That's when I got all the Crash games. And that's when I really started to get into platformers. I was like, yeah, this is fun. Yeah, I was behind the times for a long time. Like, my main console was the Nintendo 64. Yeah. Up until, like, the 360 came out. And then that's when I got my first Xbox. Wow. <laughs> so you skipped, like, a generation, I think. Yeah, I did. Jeez, a loo. Well, like, we're a poor family. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was lucky you even had the Nintendo 64. You gotta make do what you gotta do. Uh, it's... Yeah. 
Uh, I played a lot of uh, Star Fox 64, though. Like a lot of Star Fox 64. Oh, yeah, no, that... <clears throat> and a lot of Perfect Dark and mm. 007 GoldenEye. Cool. All right, we completed the tutorial. Looks like we got... Oh, yeah, I think that's a little cameo. That's uh, Venus Flytrap from the tr Crash Bandicoot series, I believe. Oh, yeah. It's either that or it's supposed to be purple. I'm not sure, but that's a nice little cameo. Anyway, we're gonna make our ways to the beach. Because that's technically the next level. Yeah. But first, we're gonna talk to our love interest, I think. Yep. Damn, Mike. Tell that about the fox girl. Whoa! <laughs> I really wish there was a way to turn on subtitles. I know, right? Like, because I mean, I'm using muscle memory mostly, and like we've said before, our setup is a little strange. We have the TV on low, so you guys don't get any echoes. I don't know. We'll figure it out in time, hopefully, so that we can hear clearly, but not have it pick up on the mic. Yeah, there's gotta be some way to deal with it. Oh, we can't go in your bed? Okay, fine. Maybe we got a vest and like headphones. I the splitter. I would have to look into it. Anyway, we're in Sandover Village. We're going to explore more of it later. To be continued, my friends. You don't want to outro it? Hmm. Okay, fine. Outros? Don't you mean intros? I don't know. Oh, shut up.